like I'm Pat Mahomes. She blowing me like a saxophone. I call them shots that can't tap my phone. It's hella way, get your money long. I just been like you and me, myself. They think I'm crazy, it's crazy. Honestly, I can kill less what they think. Really, I just want the 50s and 50s. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Trey, and I'm back with that pressure, man. Back with that pressure. Now, look, bro. Let me give y'all a rundown, bro. Let me give y'all a rundown of like this video, what I got going on today. All that, I'm gonna give y'all a rundown of all that. Y'all know how I do, bro. Y'all know I'm gonna I'm get y'all right. I ain't gonna leave y'all out the loop ever. But look, bro, it is getting closer. And I know y'all see the title, bro. I know y'all see the title. Y'all probably happy. Y'all probably excited. Y'all probably in all the emotions, bro, and about to cry. Y'all might even shit yourself. Bruh. Nah. All right, I'm just talking. I'm just bullshit, bro. Probably not shit or cry, but you feel me? If you support me, bro, you should be happy for me. But look, bro, every day I'm getting closer and closer to my move-in date, bro. I'm moving. If y'all did not know, if y'all haven't been watching my vids or keeping up with me, I am moving. I am moving soon. So I got to start getting prepared for that, y'all. I got I to gotta get boxes, bro. I got to start packing stuff up. I gotta start getting clothes together, bro. Taking stuff down, like, bro. I'm about to have to really get into moving, moving mode, bro. And um, bro. I, first, I just really want to thank y'all, bro, and, and and thank God first. Thank God first, and thank y'all second. You know what I'm saying? And thank my family, all that. But thank God first, bro, for this past year. Um, my first apartment, bro. It really, it really went well. I got no complaints, bro. It allowed me to like take that next step, bro, as a as a young adult. You feel me? Like it allowed me to take that step, bro. Like real deal, bro. It, it allowed many things that I wasn't able to do before and be free to do certain things that I wasn't able to do before. So I'm really overall so grateful for that past year, bro. This past year has been it's been a blessing. And um, yeah, bro, I'm just excited and ready to move on to the next thing, next chapter in my life. And that will be moving again at the beginning of the year, bro. And um, I, I like, it's something about me. I, I'm low key gonna try to make that like an annual thing. You feel me? But it's something about me that I just like starting off the new year with a, with a bang or with something good. You know what I'm saying? Or like, I like doing that. Cause last year, if y'all don't remember, I started off the year with, um, my new crib, you feel me? The year before that, I had bought my car. You know what I'm saying? I had bought my car at the beginning of the year. So it's just like, I don't know. It's just the thing about the beginning of the year. I like to, I like to really, you feel me? Start it off with a little bang. You know what I'm saying? But um, like I said, bro. Uh oh. Hold on. Camera difficulties. Like I said, bro. I'm really grateful and I'm really thankful for everything, everybody, my family, my friends, all of y'all. Thank God. I'm honestly just just humble, you feel me? And gonna continue to be humble about everything. And yeah, bro. But look, so right now I'm on my way to um, Target, but I'm actually probably about to charge my Tesla yard because my battery is low. So I need to um, charge the whip, you feel me? Get the, get the car right and everything. But after that, I'm gonna head to Target and Tracy got to just get some few essential things, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like essential things for me. Like I'm about to get some lotion, bro. Like some body lotion. I'm about to get some some more body wash. And if y'all haven't watched my old videos, bro. Oh my gosh. A few moments later. I'm going to be 100% honest with y'all, bro. Before I just had camera difficulties and before my camera fell, I was talking to y'all about something. But as of now, I don't even remember, bro. Because I was trying to multitask, bro. I was trying to drive, focus on switching lanes, bro. You know what I'm saying? All while talking to y'all at the same time and trying to, trying to make sure I address everything I had on my head. But you feel me? I think it was just a little bit too much going on. So I'm just going start from where i am now um y'all i'm at the tesla supercharge right now so i'm charging my car bro they recommend with tesla like if you have a tesla you know what i'm talking about if you're doing daily driving bro you need to charge charge it to 80 percent and if you're doing like a road trip charge it to 100 so because i think if you keep charging it to 100 it does something to your battery or something like that or you know what i'm saying i, th I think it does something to your battery and i don't think it's good so I don't really always charge it all the way up to 100 because I, you feel me? I don't even be driving it too much. Um, I be driving my other car. No, I'm gonna I'm I'm charge it to 100 today, bro. I'm gonna charge it to 100 because I ain't feel it all the way up in a while. I just be charging it to 80%. But 
Um, yeah, y'all, I'm charging my car. I'm at the supercharger. After this, I'm gonna go to Target because I need to get me some essentials, bro. And what I mean by essentials, if I didn't say it already, I'm about to give me some like body lotion, like body wash. If y'all haven't watched like my older videos, like not older, older, but like like months ago, like last year type videos, bro. It was one video where I told y'all or like I tried to put y'all on to a certain type of body wash, bro, because mm. Boy, it be doing me justice, boy. Like it be, it be, boy, it be having me smelling like a a cocoa baby butter ball. Hey, hey, I be smelling yeah with that with that body wash, and I just love the the smell. But I be getting like a um, it's like cocoa. I'ma show y'all, bro. I'ma show y'all, cause when I see it, I know it, bro. I I know I know what it is when I see. It. I just don't remember the exact name, but bro trying to put y'all on bro so when i when i get up in there i'm gonna show y'all of course but i just gotta get stuff like that like body lotion um some more body wash uh i probably gonna get me i might get a few drinks i might i don't know i really just came in for really like body wash body lotion maybe some mouthwash and stuff like that like essential stuff you know what i'm saying stuff like that but um after that y'all i really i really ain't doing nothing i ain't got too much plan for today honestly i just wanted to like like i said bro in my previous videos if y'all been watching i'm trying to i'm trying to give y'all more of me incorporate y'all more into like my personal life like what i be doing you feel me even if it's nothing too much i just want y'all to be able to see that you feel me so y'all can continue to build like more of a bond and chemistry with me you know what i'm saying like y'all my niggas bro like, i f with y'all bro like i f with y'all bro like i f with y'all bro a lot of people don't get in when it comes to like my circle when it comes to trace but like bro y'all get in bro you know what i'm saying so like that's really that's really some exclusive shit bro because really like i'm an exclusive nigga bro can't everybody say they hang with me, bro? Real deal. Can't everybody say they even been around me? Real deal. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I'm a exclusive type nigga, and I like that. I feel like that that adds more value to me. But like I was talking about earlier, y'all, I'm really excited. I'm really happy, and I can't wait to move, bro. Like y'all, oh my gosh, like y'all know I'ma have them lined up, bro. Y'all know I'ma have a moving in vid. Y'all know I'ma have a, I'm probably gonna have like a packing up vid, one. Packing up, you feel me, like getting ready to move it, then an actual move it, then an unfurnished house tour, then a furnished house tour. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta see all of it, and I'ma I'm a give y'all all that content, bro. I'ma give y'all all that content, but I'm just really, like, I'm really ready, bro. Like, I'm really excited, bro. And, like, the moving process, that's the least um fun part, of course, because you gotta pack, carry, um you feel me like you gotta get stuff down you gotta organize stuff you gotta do all that bro it, it's actually like you gotta prepare mentally and physically not just physically for moving but you gotta prepare in your head as well bro like you gotta be ready for that but honestly i'm ready you know what i'm saying honestly i'm ready i feel like i had enough time i have had enough time to uh feel me sort things out i need to start like making my carts like i i got a cart right now but it don't got too much in it but like carts and stuff like decor you feel me like essential stuff what i need up in there like you know what i'm saying i need to start getting that stuff together while i still got a solid amount of time you feel me before i am out bro before i'm out no cap but i'm not trying to ramble to y'all i'm not trying to just just babble to y'all i'm just trying to talk to y'all like we on facetime you know what i'm saying just just talk to y'all like we we right here you feel me but i'm about to let my 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 tesla charge I'm about to let the whip charge bro then i'm gonna head to target after that and y'all gonna see me up in there but if you're new to my channel make sure you like bro make sure you subscribe if you new bro but even if you're not new make sure you like bro you don't gotta be you don't gotta be new to like even if you you been here like the video bro but if you're new make sure you subscribe that's that's for the new people make sure you subscribe man but um yeah i'm just about to sit here chill out it shouldn't take long because it seemed like i just got here honestly and it went from 21 percent to 47 percent in like 10 minutes it seemed like i ain't gonna lie or probably less probably like seven minutes bro no cap but like i said bro i'm about to come back to y'all once i'm in target all right all right, all right y'all so made it to target you feel me i'm just letting y'all know i'm about to put my camera in my bag because they tried to hold me last time i was up in target trying to tell me um i couldn't like film or something like that i guess which i don't know why because i honestly feel like this is my job and they get to do their job so why try to stop me from doing my job you know what i'm saying yeah 
I'm up at Target. It's kind of packed, bro. Today's Sunday. So it's the weekend. So everybody, I guess, trying to stock up and get stuff while they need it. But yeah, it's a lot of people out right now, bro. But um, I'm about to go get what I need. Like I told y'all, I'm about to go into this section. But I'm about to put the camera down so they wouldn't um, try to hold me, like I said. Boy, if you don't. Yo, bro, so I'm in the aisle right now. And um, I'm looking, bro. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find the body wash, bro. But I'm not. I'm not having success right now, bro. Ah, don't let me find out. They selling me. Actually, because look, bro. Let me show y'all the aisle. This is how the aisle looks. I don't know why the aisle kind of look weird today, bro. It looked like y'all is kind of missing stuff. Like, it's a little empty. Like, even look at this aisle, bro. All this stuff is clear, bro. So I don't, I don't know if it's like the stocking, like they need to restock or what, bro. I guess I'm gonna have to find another body wash, bro. That suck, cause I be using the same one, bro. Cause it, it, bro, it be smelling so good, bro. It be smelling so good. And for my fellas, bro, take care of your hygiene. Have to take care of your hygiene. Don't be out here stinking and funky and going around people musty, bro. No, bro, that's not cool. I'm gonna be the first one to tell y'all it's not cool. Actually though, Method Body be solid, bro. Hold on, Method Body be solid. Mm. Look, y'all, I'm trying to decide, bro, out of these right here. Let me, let me see how this smell. Let me, we about to do it. Oh, snap. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna lie. This one really smell the exact same to the ones I be getting for real. Not gonna lie. Hold on, let me smell it one more time, y'all. I'm about to get one more. Yeah. Yep. It pretty much smell the same, but I think it's because of the ingredients, bro. Like y'all see on here, it says coconut, rice milk, and shea butter. Yeah, I like the smell of coconut and shea butter together, bro. It just mixed so well. So just got the body wash, y'all. I'm about to find the um the lotion, the body lotion. So bro, I actually skipped over the um lotion aisle and I skipped to the vitamin aisle, bro, because I actually feel like, bro, I don't be having the vitamins that I need, bro. Like in terms of, I don't take vitamins, bro. And like, I, I probably just then got used to not taking them. You feel me? And just like live my life. So I don't realize that not taking vitamins probably like affects me in a way, you know what I'm saying? So I know, um vitamins that i have had before was like some and these not really vitamins but the ashwagandha because i know my anxiety sometimes can be a little feeling like especially when i'm out in public around too many people my anxiety can kind of rise but when i take like ashwagandha i will say that it kind of like makes me like calmer like i don't know anybody that take it you kind of know like or people might have different effects but i know it kind of lowers my anxiety and it makes me Come and I need to buy a new thing of ashwagandha, bro, and probably some one a day vitamins. You feel me? Or some calm shit. But let me see, bro. I think I didn't have these the last time. I got some at home, but this is like old, bro. I um got inconsistent with taking it, bro. But I don't know if I want the gummies, bro. Do they got pills? Like sometimes the gummies be like a little weird. You feel me? Like, I don't know how to explain it. Mm. A few moments later. Alright y'all, so I'm back in the whip, bro. Um, I'm out of Target. Uh, I only got, I got two bottles of this. Uh, I, I ain't really need too much of stuff at all. Like I said, I just needed some like a little essential stuff. And I actually didn't get no lotion because I thought about it and I had some lotion at home. So I didn't need no lotion. That would have been a dry waste. But I told y'all I was going to put y'all on to the body wash that I like, bro. Now, this is not the same exact brand, but it's pretty much the same because of the ingredients and everything. But it's it has coconut, rice milk, and shea butter in there, bro. And that trio, like, hey, that trio is so, like, like, mwah, my You know what I'm saying? Like, it smells great. So, I got two bottles of that. And like I was telling y'all a little bit up in there, I got some ashwagandha gummies um, because the ones I got, I eventually stopped taking them, bro, and they got old and old, so I needed more. But I'm only getting them again because like I, like I told y'all before, bro, I used to take them, so I know the effect it has on me, and it's not a bad effect. It, it really helps me, like I said, with anxiety 
and kind of helps me like it, it feels like when i take them i'm like calmer you know what i'm saying because not gonna lie to y'all bro me just being in there bro like because target is packed like i told y'all but with me just being in there bro like oh my gosh y'all y'all bro my mind was literally racing because it was so many people bro and it's just like i don't like being around a large crowd of people like i don't like i really don't and i'm always like i'm the type that i'm always aware of my surroundings bro so it don't matter if it's a few people a lot of people you gonna see me looking you feel me like i'm not my head not about to be like deep into my phone or none of that like i be very aware I'm, I'm constantly looking scanning you feel me seeing what's going on just for like like you never know bro that can save you one day so if you the type that bro you be out and your head is just down stuck in your phone change that habit bro you need to change that habit asap just because like like that's that's not a good habit to have at all because yeah you can get um you can get you can you can get got bro with your head down in your phone deserts you you can really something really bad can happen just because you're not aware or you can prevent something by being aware bro like feel me it's a it's, it's a lot of benefits of being aware of your surroundings it's more positive than any negative so just be aware of your surroundings y'all when y'all out but um yeah like i was saying bro like i just don't like big crowds of people it, it make me like feel like i don't know like just too much going on so off camera i was up in there just hey trying to find what i needed and get out bro no cap since i got what i needed i'm about to head get some food bro get some slight pick me up some bro and the good thing about where i'm at right now it's a lot of food spots right next to me so i'm really like not gonna have a hard time picking some food some quick fast food to to get and then we rolling back to the crib bro we rolling back to the crib we not outside we not going to a lounge. We not at the club. Uh, we ain't doing none of that. Trasky sits at the crib, dog. You feel me? So we about to get that together. About to get that right. And I'ma holler back at y'all, man. No cap. No cap. All right. So look, y'all. Some time passed by, bro. Um, I got back to the crib after Target and everything. After grabbing me some food and everything. Um, got settled. Ate some food. And a few hours passed by. Not gonna lie. But I'm here now. That's what matter. Um, yeah, like I told y'all early on, I really don't got nothing else too much to do today. My day pretty much over. I got out and, and got as active as I needed to get for today. Um, but yeah, so I'm really, really excited for my new crib though, bro. Like, I can't keep stressing this enough, bro. Like, I really can't, like... I'm just ready, bro. Like, I'm so ready. And it's like, this crib, this crib was good to me. And this crib, I had a lot of memories in this crib, bro. Like, it's probably going to be like, you feel me? A, a, a Not a sad feeling when I leave type thing, but it's going to be like, a, like, all right, closing this chapter type thing. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. I'm not going to be sad about leaving the apartment per se, but just like, I really made memories. I established myself. Um, I put myself on a map more when I when I was here. You know what I'm saying? I went up. I elevated. You feel me? Like I, I really elevated even more, and I was in this crib. You know what I'm saying? So how I'm looking at it is, and just this, this how I look at like everything for real when it comes to getting new stuff or like treating myself. I I know once I upgrade, once I do, I work harder. You feel me? It's time to really establish myself more, get to it even more. And I know I worked very hard the past year, the past few years, all the years, bro. I know I didn't put in that work, but I know last year I worked hard. So my reward to myself is, hey, I, I'm blessed enough and able to get a new crib, get a new place. But that doesn't mean, hey, comfortable because you good. No, that means, all right, hey, congratulations, cool. You getting a new crib. Hey, it's, it's cool for a little minute to be, hey, yeah, I got it. But after a minute, hey, right back to work. It's time to, hey, work harder. Now I gotta elevate more. You feel me? Now I gotta elevate more because my bills, I'm, I, I'm having more bills. Like stuff is increasing for me and I just know, hey, my, I just gotta work harder because that's that's been a recipe I've been using the whole time. Okay, yeah, get this. Okay, I get this. All right, work harder. Okay, next up, new chapter. Hey, I'm onto this. Okay, work even harder. You feel me? It's just like, that. it's not really nothing too too 
There's nothing scientific to it, bro. Just literally put in the work for what you want. The work hard for what you want, bro. If you think if you think anything in this life is going to be given to you, you're mistaken. If you think anybody going to come and just miraculous, like, miraculously drop thousands of dollars and millions of dollars into your bank account, you're cuckoo. If you think that's just going to happen overnight, you're cuckoo, bro. Like, everything is a process. And I feel like no matter what you doing, bro, if you work hard at it, you you will eventually become good at it great at it you feel me and i feel like like i said that's what anything for me i've been using the same recipe in my life you know what i'm saying and what i mean by that is when it came to basketball because i used to really hoop bro when it came to basketball i knew i wasn't the most athletic like like gifted player in that way like i knew i wasn't like that but i i just worked hard or worked in a way to sharpen my skills. And what I mean by that, like fundamental wise, I know fundamental wise and IQ wise, I'm very smart on the court. So I use that to my advantage. Hey, I can't jump out the gym and boom on somebody. I'm not the fastest, you feel me? But hey, I'm about to use my mind. I'm about to use, sharpen my skills, you feel me? And, and get better at certain things. And even with basketball, bro, I wasn't as dedicated as I needed to be. I could have went further with basketball in my opinion, uh, for sure, if I would have applied myself more but I just know anything I apply myself to, like anything I really apply myself in, I take off with it, bro. And and that's that's just, that's worked for me in my life. Now, it, everybody have a different path. So everybody's situation gonna work out a different way, but I know for me in my life so far, when I've applied myself and I've worked hard, I've been able to achieve everything I've wanted to achieve so far, bro. Like dead serious, bro. And. I don't know who be watching me. I don't know who be watching me, bro. I don't know who my messages be getting to. I don't know if I touch somebody, you feel me? But like, I'm about to, I'm about to start having more talks with y'all. And like I said, bro, I, I wanna be like more on a personal level with y'all. Like y'all, even when I'm not doing nothing too much, y'all being able to, to just like, kind of get to know me more on a more personal level, bro. Like that's, that's kind of how my content, what I'm heading towards. Um, now definitely still gonna be doing pranks and you know all types of stuff like that but I, i'm trying to do more like vlogs of y'all being able to see me and i talk to y'all and all that but yeah man yeah bro I, I never know who i motivate who i help who i influence i just know that i'm gonna speak and i'm gonna be real bro and hopefully i can help and touch people that need to be helped and like motivated and touched and and let you know, bro, like, I started at zero, too. You know what I'm saying? I started at zero. Everybody started at zero. You know what I'm saying? Every single person had to start at zero. You feel me? And I know for a person like me who wasn't just everything was handed to me, spoon-fed, and just, hey, hey, my parents hey, buy me cars. Like, no, nah, like, I, I literally had to work for everything. My crib, hey, my, my parents ain't nobody, hey, here, take this money and go get you a... No, this this me. Like this me. I work for this. All the bills, the lights, the the rent, the everything up in here. You feel me? That's like this me. You know what I'm saying? I, I pay for this. The furniture. That's hey, that's me. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like stuff like that. And and my vehicles. My parents never bought me a vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Not because they ain't love me, but just because like, bro. And I'm I'm glad they didn't. Like, I'm so glad, bro. I'm like, honestly and truthfully, I'm glad my parents didn't buy me my first vehicle or my second vehicle or my third vehicle. I, I'm, I'm glad they didn't do that. Why? Because that allowed me to, to like build that, build that habit of, nah, you got to work for what you want. Like you have to, like, you know what I'm saying? And they did so, like such a good job with me, bro, growing up. Like they, they did such a great job with me growing up, my parents and my village, bro. So I, I forever appreciate and be thankful, um, thankful for that. But I just know like when it comes to like the, you feel me? The stuff y'all see, bro, the stuff y'all see, the watch, the, the teeth, the chains, the, the clothes, the crib, the cars, the, the lifestyle, bro. Like niggas had to work for that. That was a process. That wasn't a old overnight process. Like, nah, bro, like niggas had to get to it. It's, it was plenty of sleepless nights. I still have sleepless nights. You feel me? And I'm, I'm, I'm able to say I'm financially blessed. Like I'm, I'm comfortable, but 
I still have sleepless nights, nights where I'm thinking, bro, what I'm about to do next? What I'm about to do to make more, more money? What I'm about to do to be able to help my family in this way or be able to help people in this way? Like, what am I about to do? And it'll keep me up at nighttime, bro. So it's just like, that ain't changed with me. It's just, it's just a thing of, um, I elevate it and I just got to keep elevating. And that's what I want y'all to do, bro. No matter what you do, everybody has a purpose. And I've been saying this a lot lately, but, um, Everybody got a purpose, bro. So you just got to know your purpose, find your purpose, and do what you do best, bro. Be you. Be you. Don't try to ever be nothing that you that you aren't. Anything, bro. Be you. Be you. Because if you try to be something that you're not, eventually, bro, you're going to expose yourself. Real shit, bro. Like, if you try to be something you're not and, and show that you did and it really ain't that and all types of shit, bro, you going to eventually, it's going to catch up to you. You're going to expose yourself. So it's no point in even ever doing that, bro. Just be yourself. Be real. And, and, and yeah, just just be real, bro. Be real. It's too much fake going on in today's day, bro. And that, that's a huge problem, in my opinion. So, yeah, yeah. Everybody needs to be RNS, bro. Raised naturally solid. You feel me? Not real nigga shit. That's not what that stands for for me. RNS is raised naturally solid. So when y'all see that on my chest, I take pride in that. You feel me? When y'all when y'all see that in my in my name, you feel me? I take pride in that. Feel me? Like I take pride in that R and that shit for real, cause cause it's something me and my brothers came up with, but it, it's not it's not a gang, it's not a woo. Hey, it's like it's a way of living, bro. Raised naturally solid, you feel me? So that that R and S, like I I hold that with so much pride, bro. Like I'm not playing about that. So yeah, bro, I ain't trying to ramble y'all ears off and talk y'all ears off because I know now I'm just talking. Like, I'm not even doing nothing at this point but talking. But I hope I hope it reached somebody out there. I hope I'm able to influence somebody out there in a good way, motivate somebody in a positive way. Um, you feel me? That's 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 probably um, my purpose here on Earth. You feel me? To to be able to help people, not not think about myself. Just oh me 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 me. No, I I actually think. One of my blessings or even gifts from God is, is, hey, or my purpose is to be here to help people. You know what I'm saying? And I, I probably feel, not even probably, I feel like that's, that's probably a like, big reason why I got the platform I got now is because, hey, that's probably my purpose, man. Like, I'm still trying to figure that out, bro. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not all the way figured out when it comes to what's my purpose, but I just know that I have one. I know that I do have a purpose and helping people is probably one of my purposes or maybe that's my purpose, whatever, bro. It's, I'm going I'm to keep figuring it out as my life goes on and if God keep blessing me and, and putting me in positions and giving me different opportunities and all types of stuff like that. But yeah, I hope I, hope I ain't um, babbling y'all ears off. I hope I more so helped y'all maybe with something or um, y'all was able to relate to me or I was able to touch somebody in a good way, you feel me? But yeah, y'all, I really don't got nothing else to say. I'm gonna have multiple parts of um, my moving process. So I guess this is like um, a moving part one, you feel me? Even though I ain't do nothing really to to move, but this is really just a video of me telling y'all what's to come and to be ready for that and everything. So I guess, yeah, this will be like a moving part one type vid. Um, so I hope y'all enjoy it, bro. I hope y'all enjoy like the personal time with me or like just, just, you know, me talking to y'all, y'all listening or whatever, or y'all probably talking back through the screen, whatever it is. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, bro. Y'all like, please like if you haven't. And um, y'all stay tuned because your boy gonna be back with another video soon. So thank y'all for watching. Hey, your boy, check out, man. Yeah, gang. She blowing me like a saxophone. She blowing, she blowing me like a saxophone.